Pisces, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early September 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Piscean collective out there. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going here, my guides. Talk to us. What, what do you have for us Pisceans here? In the early parts of September, the last quarter of the year, what energies, messages, insights are happening? And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. At the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. So let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Pisces in early September Virgo season. What's going on here? guides and spirit team let's get this card out nice and quick there it goes asking you shall receive fired up this is a big fired up type of energy and it differs from almost the whole entire zodiac this week because like this week i've been seeing that very piscean energy around the rest of the zodiac like the imaginative stuff that we normally get here this is the total opposite this reminds me of the chariot it's like let's go let's go let's move so this can be a really positive card and influence depending on what you're going through now, before we fully dive into that, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the September subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. And also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk about this energy and card. So if you look at the imagery, we see this lovely lady here. She's going in a specific direction. We have some whales in the picture. There's boats. There's these martlets, which are a mythical bird with no feet that are all moving in the same place. So it can indicate distance and travel for some Pisces out there. Maybe it's a vacation or a trip for some of you. But to me, it's moving. It's moving towards the future. For some Pisces, maybe you have more of a future focus in this time where you're not as imaginative or in your head as you normally are. And you're thinking about what's coming up. How am I going to do this? What are my goals? What are my ambitions? That could be a very good thing when this card is here, but it's action. Like I said, it feels very fiery to me. Now, fire energy could be great for motivation. If recently you've been feeling a little down in the dumps, when I see this card, it's like a revitalization. But remember, fire energy could also be a little... Uh, spontaneous. It could also be a little unpredictable. So watch out for things like that in this time. But to me, I feel like it's a good fire and moving forward. So we're just going to leave it at that for now. Let's get into tarot. And yeah, I always say the first card here, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. So let's get you three cards in the upright. Then we'll get into that intuitive juiciness. Shuffle it up one time here for the Piscean people. What do you got for us? Your guides. And while I get this deck shuffled up and ready to go, let's talk about last week's reading. It was titled Big Karmic Test. Now, there's been a lot of karmic energy floating around a lot of the other signs as well. And I did feel for some Pisces out there. Spirit's going to test you with something. Or they're going to test your resolve, test your word. And that could still bleed over for a couple weeks because karmic energy moves very slow. So keep that in mind. Spirit might be testing your resolve. But yeah, we're going to see what shows up this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you. Because we're going to be seeing your vibe or somebody else's. So let's get it going. Three cards for Pisces. What do you got for us here? What's going on for Pisces? Thank you. Okay, nine of cups. We're starting good. We are starting good. Now, I don't want to get too overly excited about it, but I love that nine of cups. It's very welcoming, affectionate type of energy. Let's get a couple more. Thank you. Okay, five of wands. There's that fiery energy I was talking about. This is like a firecracker here in the center. Oof. All right, that doesn't usually, it doesn't feel as cautious or cautionary as it usually does for me. Let's get one more. What do we got? Judgment. Yeah, here's that powerful, powerful energy. So I think for a good chunk of you, you're probably moving in a very positive direction, even if it doesn't feel like it. When we're combining what we had in the beginning and what we have on the back end here, this is powerful stuff. So let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes. And then we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. But at first look, first glance, yeah, the mixture of elements is very intriguing. We have water, which we are very comfortable with as Pisceans. There's the fire coming in with that five of wands, pretty aggressive. And then judgment, very, very powerful, almost similar to a tower with that energy there. So we're going to want to look into that specifically, but let's go through piece by piece and really start to build this out. Like, although we have this very fiery 
fired up type of energy here on the back end. I'm not concerned. Usually when I see so much power in a spread, I get a little cautious, a little concerned. For some reason, I'm feeling optimistic here, cautiously optimistic. So let's go through piece by piece and really start to build this out. Position number one, the Nine of Cups, one of the best cards in the whole entire deck. And we see our friendly little pal sitting right there with the arms crossed, looks happy, content, nine cups all around him. So when I see this, I think of wish fulfillment. I think of wins and victories, things going your way, saying, you know what? I'm cool. I'm happy with the way things are. Okay? Now, some of you might not be, of course. I know like everyone watches for different reasons. There might be something that's pissing you off. There might be something you're not quite happy about. But this could represent the energy moving in a better direction. I always say that this is a welcoming energy. This is someone that says, hey, come in, have one of these cups. It's very affectionate. It's a sharing is caring type of vibe. Now, when it comes to the challenge of this card, because you know I'm always going to give you both sides of the coin, this card can sometimes give too much of themselves to others. This could be someone that's too nice, too kind, too generous, gives too much away. So be cautious about doing that in this time. Um, and I know Pisceans are very empathetic individuals, but just don't do too much. I don't know why that's coming through the way it is. For some of you, it might need a little affection when this card shows up. But a warning that I always say about the Nine of Cups is watch out for overindulging in things any pleasure of the flesh, because this card can also be overindulgent, okay? So, I mean, hopefully that's not an issue, but, you know, I'm always going to give you all the deets there. I mean, on first appearance, this feels kind, it feels happy, and it can feel like a win to me, like something might really make you happy. Now, moving to the center, this is where the aggression kicks in, and I can't help it. Like, every time I look at that five of wands, it's making me chuckle, it's making me laugh, which might be good, because one of the small messages with this five of wands is that, like, yeah, it could be people joking around and roughhousing, so I wouldn't be surprised if your sense of humor is heightened in this time, but... I will also always say with this card, you don't need to be a specialist or an expert in tarot to understand what it means. It's five people beating the crap out of each other with sticks. They're going to war. They're going to battle. Now, that can fit into the reading we saw last week because often I see this when spirit's about to test us, put a roadblock in front of us. Hopefully, it's not you feeling like it's me against the world or feeling conflicted because this is a card of conflict. So whether it's you button heads with somebody else or it's an internal conflict, that could be the case. But when we look at the positives of the Five of Wands, determination can't stop won't stop type of energy nothing's going to slow me down nothing's going to stop me what i have in mind is set in stone and i will get there that's an energy we could pull from this which can be very nice but i don't know why i'm i'm finding it a little humorous here when i see it so maybe it is like a sense of humor of some sort Maybe some of you need to indulge in your sense of humor a little more. Now, moving to the back end, this is what I really think might be the keystone to this reading. We have the Judgment card. Now, this is a very powerful energy, one of the most powerful in the whole deck, and it's complex. Notice we have the Archangel Gabriel right there blowing that trumpet. Um, to me, this is a card that could be very simple. It could just be making judgments, decisions. This is a huge card of change. This is explosive Plutonian type of energy. It shifts. So where I was speaking about the karmic energy we were seeing last week, this could also be karmic, but this isn't slow moving. This is very, very quick. Um, often judgment can show up when things revisit when things return, whether it's situations, whether it's individuals. Judgment is like, all right, well, hmm, I don't know how I should handle this. So we're going to have to see, and it, again, it could be karmic, and it could also represent change and metamorphosis, but it is powerful. Like, think key word when we say judgment is explosive, okay? So we're just going to put it down right there. Hey, Pisces, I want to dive deeper on all of it, so let's do it. Let's jump in and clarify. Okay, let's get a good shuffle here see what we have going on for the Piscean's guides. What do you got for us here? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that Nine of Cups. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Pisces, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay, Nine of Cups time. What's happening? Why is it here? Thank you. Yeah, cool. Like, cool, comfortable, not wanting to change something up. That could be very possible. Someone could also be playing it cautious here. This doesn't feel like a bad energy to me. There's a certain comfort level I'm picking up here in the front, which 
is definitely raising an eyebrow because as we move forward, I'm seeing like all this change and explosive energy and it's like, yeah, but no, I'm, I'm cool. I'm comfortable here. So we have the Knight of Wands in reverse underneath this Nine of Cups. If you are connected to someone that is a party animal or is overindulgent, their energy is showing up here in a very, very powerful way. Because when I see the Knight of Wands in reverse, it's someone who's like, woo, live it up, having a good time. So maybe some of you are getting the party bug. Okay, no judgment here. You do what you got to do, my friends. Maybe hopefully there is something worth celebrating. But if you're not connected to a fire sign, the Knight of Wands in the upright is a card of action. It's a card of forward movement. Again, it's fiery. So, you know, this fiery energy we've been picking up the whole damn time. When it's in reverse, it's not really moving. Okay, so under a card of happiness, this could be very good for you. For some of you, it's like waiting something out or waiting for that winner victory to come in. And I could see it. I could already see it with this first alignment, regardless of what comes up next. And there's a certain energy of contentment, too. It's like, well, why? Why should I do this? Like, I'm, things are okay how they are. Like, why should I strive to switch it up? Or why should I change? There's a comfort level. That's the best way I can put it. So if we were to split the message into either this is someone that's just very comfortable and content with the way things are, or this is somebody waiting for that victory to come to them. And I think it might. So let's keep moving forward. I'm not going to... Uh, spend too much time there because I feel like it's very simple. It is a good energy, but notice there's so much fire here. Let's go in on the five of wands. See what that has to say. So why is the five of wands here? I don't feel like here that's someone averse to change. Okay, queen of wands. So now we're picking up more people. Surprise, surprise. We have more fire energy showing up here. I felt it since that very first card, Pisces. And it's been showing up almost continuously, aside from that Nine of Cups. Now, the Queen of Wands represents somebody's internals. And I'm just going to give that message to you again. I know, as part of the collective myself, a lot of Pisceans are very tapped in to the energies around them. The people, the places, all the things. Even if we don't always realize it, very empathic sign. And when I see the Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands, just know that... The strong energies around you could be affecting you. So whether that's the world itself or the people you surround yourself with, I feel you being hypersensitive to the energy of those around you more so than normal. That's an intuitive message that's just coming through. But another thing, I feel this revitalization. So it's going to go a couple different ways. If you have been feeling like pretty set in your ways and I don't want to say lethargic, but cool, content, there is going to be a burst forth of energy to switch something up or just get active. If you've been feeling down, if you've been ill or sick or your body's been hurting or anything like that, when I see the Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands, it's revitalized. It's like, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I'm on top of the world. So that could be very claimable energy for some of you. At the same time, though, it can also be aggressive. Like when I see the Five of Wands and Queen of Wands, it's like, oh, you want to fight? Let's go. Or, oh, Oh, you want to give me problems? Watch when I give you problems. So there's this fiery energy where it's like walking a fine line. Either you're going to feel revitalized and very energetic in this time, or you're going to be a little more aggressive and confrontational. Or someone is, if that's not you. Just all this fire energy feels super intense, and it can be harnessed for good. So let's see what Judgment has to say. And yeah, then we'll do a quick little recap before we see what's in the shadows. Just so much fiery energy. It's super intense. So why is judgment here? Let's see what's up. So what is going on? Hopefully this isn't somebody that's like upset or angry. That could possibly be it. Let's see what judgment has to say. Quick. Thank you. Wow. Yep. All right. So Pisces, this to me feels like it's two things. Two things. And I've been seeing this in a couple other signs. And I've been saying the word explosive since jump street when we had this card seven of pentacles in reverse is also another karmic energy and when this card shows up in reverse this is explosive change or shifting or this could be something returning cycling back around in a very quick way and again with all this empathy i was picking up here in the center i feel like you're, you're going to feel it in the air let's talk about it a little more in depth so the seven of pentacles if it were in the upright this is usually a card of patience Kind of like that contentment we were seeing here in the front end. Like, no, 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 I'm cool. I'm just going to let that slide or I'm just going to be how I am. It just feels very set in its place. When it is in reverse, it is totally not. This is an upheaval. So for some Pisces out there, and I feel 
whatever this explosive change might come from your actions. Like you might set it into motion. You might set it into play. So just again, I'm feeling explosive change or shifting in energy where a dynamic is going to change in a very big way. And I think you might be the action behind it. Okay. Believe it or not. And if that's not the case with the seven of pentacles in reverse, I feel something possibly returning, which I've been feeling for other signs this week as well. It seems to be a theme. There must be something in the transits because it could be an explosive return. I feel like it's one or the other. So let's go through and do a quick recap. Then we'll get into the shadow card. Very, very intense reading this week, Pisces. So maybe you just need to get that energy out in one way or another, whether it's physical activity or creative activity, like, cause it just feels so intense. You're going to need some sort of vent for it. But if you look here in the box, position number one, we have the nine of cups with the knight of wands in reverse content cool with things how the how they are it's like yeah i'm just happy it could also be someone waiting on a wind to come their way and i think it's going to happen but to me it's just cool like i'm i'm chilling type of energy in the center totally different i am chilling no longer we have the five of wands with the queen of wands in the upright very confident very fiery um, making things happen so i said if you've been feeling down health wise or energetic wise well, you're going to feel revitalized in the coming days and weeks it's just like a burst of energy but you could also be a little more aggressive and temperamental if not you it could be somebody else hopefully it's not on teetering on the edge of someone being upset and extra confrontational to me it just feels like the energy levels rising on to the back end we have judgment with the seven of pentacles in reverse that's an explosive change and i think you're going to enact it where it's like, okay, this needs to change, boom, it happens quickly. If that's not the case, it could be something returning very quickly. Like it's like, boom, it comes in like out of nowhere explosively. So please take a screenshot of that Pisces, super intense. Let's see what's in the shadows. I would be, I wouldn't be surprised to get a reading like this from a fire sign, but from a Pisces reading, it's usually not what I'm used to seeing. So let's get a, a shadow card out here for you. Let's shuffle it up one time. What do we got for Pisces? And yes, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards don't always have to be a challenge. They could be a good thing too. So let's get you one. And if you've made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel and I have much love for all my channel members. Okay, let's get this going. What do we got here for Pisces? Thank you. Queen of Cups. So another, this is a card of the self. And I've been seeing that in the other water signs in the shadows that uh, we have cards of the self showing up here. If you're connected to another water sign. This could be them showing up as well. But the Queen of Cups is a beautiful energy when I see it. And it's not always gender specific. It could be nurturing, loving, caring, imaginative. Um, all the beautiful things that encapsulate water sign energy. Very intuitive and empathetic as well so when we see this in the shadows it does tie into what i was saying about the energetic sensitivity like this is the next thing showing me that hey the energetic influence around you you might want to protect your energy if you don't want to feed into all this fiery intensity but if that's not the case the queen of cups to me um it could be spirit saying like hey don't emotionally suppress things but it could also be about doing what's best for you okay or what's do what doing right by yourself Okay, especially when we see one of your power cards here. So just make sure you keep that in the front of your mind as you move throughout the next days. Do right by yourself. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself. So yeah, Pisces, that's what I have for you this week, my friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the September subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can check out my digital calendar at my website, mastermetaphysics.com. But for the September subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of one of my favorite decks of all time, the beautiful wizard's tarot it's gorgeous and it works great so if you'd like to get your name in for this it's two simple things as always my friends first you must be subscribed and second let me know down in the comments where would you like to go for your dream vacation what are you manifesting let me know let's bring it to fruition you'll be entered to win and at the end of the month the winners will be announced in the community tab as always my friends much love and i'll see you again